I'll ask you the same thing I asked Tim because this is a labor of love for you and and it's not about you but it's about your love of sports and just sort of what these last 24 hours have been like as you realize Sunday we got nothing. It certainly felt like it was inevitable yep. uh, as things started to spiral out of control. Scott and I'm, I'm just sad like everyone else. I think 1989 was the last year didn't get to go to an NCAA tournament game. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know there's a lot of people in the media, a lot of fans like us whose streaks are a lot longer and that are ultimately insignificant in the big picture. But here we are. And I'm mostly sad for the Obi Toppins and the Lamar Stevens and the Cassius, Cassius Winston's, Winstons. Of course, and You're right. Anthony Callum, my guy, obviously. But, like, let's talk about the bracket. And let's just say, for argument's sake, it's 68 for 68 because this is the bracket we're, <laughs> that you're going to put out there. And let's go through who you would have had as ones. Understanding that conference tournaments could have changed things, but we didn't have them. So, as of right now, and this is the bracket we're going with, who we got on the one line? Well, certainly Kansas is going to be number one overall. Understood. Even if the only tournament canceled was the Big 12. Mm -hmm. They would have been number one okay. overall. And joined by Gonzaga now as the second of the ones after they ran through and won the West Coast Conference. Baylor still a one, uh -huh. still in the South through Houston. I know there was some talk of KU maybe going there, but I think there would have been pressure to have less travel. Sure. And then finally Dayton as the number one seed having eclipsed as San Diego State. Had Florida State on deck as a possible number one, but we'll never know, of course, what would have happened in the ACC. We just obviously had Coach Grant on from that very special Dayton season. So that was on the top of it. Obviously, we pay attention to the back end of it. Last four in and first four out, the, the final look at it would look like what? Well, the last four in, uh, when we posted this morning, uh, Texas, NC State, U Richmond, uh -huh. and UCLA. Richmond, the last of the four. Uh, and again, they didn't even get started in their conference tournament. Neither one of the hottest teams in the country, though, down the street. Yeah, Jay Mack, our, our researcher and uh, producer extraordinary, points out that they no seniors on that team. So Coach Looney's guys got a shot. The first four out, Xavier, who got beat by DePaul, Wichita State, Memphis, and Stanford's, uh, Stanford Steve's team, they got beat by. Yeah, Memphis. tough loss on uh, whatever, whatever night was. that was. Uh, who Wednesday. even knows? Who even knows? All right. I, I wanted to fight you because you dropped Maryland to the four line. Where, where would they, were they on your four line in the end? They were the top number four. <laughs> weakest number three was Seton Hall, and I think they lost to Seton they Hall. They did, and Seton Hall didn't have power. And, and, they, and it was to make a path that you would have really well, They would have played Vermont. Vermont is good, but they would have had to have beaten Hartford, Coach Gallagher slash neighborhood. All right, so Maryland's path would have been Vermont, then they would have had to play Auburn. They're like Maryland. They got down a lot and always fought back. Then they would have had to play Dayton, and they would have had to play San Diego State. Well, that's if San Diego State won its Sweet 16 game over Against. Duke. So maybe it's a regional final at Madison Square Garden against the Devils. Oh my! If it is as if I feel like I've just been torturing people today. As if, as if it's not hasn't been a kick to the junk for just a couple <laughs> 24 straight hours. You're telling me the Duke and the Garden would have been a potential. 2-4 game? Yeah, that's kind of where we were at. I didn't want to fight you before, but I, I, this is this this just sucks so bad. <laughs> it's the worst. Joe, I appreciate you, man. Hey. I appreciate all the work you do. Hey, Sincerely. let's make a date same time next year. I hope so, man. Good deal.